how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. This is Sunday, March the 3rd, and it is in the evening time here in North Florida. We're, we're in the spring mode, y'all. It went to 82 today. So we flipped over into spring, and we're really loving the nice weather. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy you've joined us. If you'd like to see any more of the Pray With Me series that I used to call Porch Praying, but now I've expanded that, that playlist a little bit. It's on a playlist called Pray With Me. And um, I would love to have you join us. Please consider subscribing and liking. I would just love it. All right, let's get right to praying today. Y'all, I had such a beautiful day today. Um, and I decided I'd come on in here this evening, spend a little time with the Lord. Come on and pray with me just for a minute. I want to set it up um, to what I'm going to pray on tonight by uh, something that happened actually yesterday. I had my granddaughter over for what we call a Grammy day. She's She'll be 10 this week. She's my youngest grandchild. And we just spend the whole day together. Um, we didn't even leave the house. I mean, we just had a wonderful time. But she likes to really share her heart. She's a deep, deep child. So she'll, if you get her one-on-one, -on -one, she's going to share her heart. And she was sharing her heart, very emotionally sharing her heart about some things she had it going on at school. Y'all, there's my clock singing to y'all. You'll hear it almost every video. Anyway, um, how she has having a hard time with some friends at school or uh, this and that. And uh, I listened to her and let her talk. But then she began to tell me about a friend she's had. She said, Grammy, but I have one friend. And he is so kind to me. And he always sees when maybe my feelings might be hurt or maybe I'm lonely or I'm getting upset or whatever. And he comes and says, hey, are you okay? Or he'll say, hey, come on, let's me and you go over here and, and play a game or something. Let's spend some time together. And I was really blessed by hearing her say that. And I said, Grayson, did you know that God's with you all the time? Well, I don't feel that he's there, she says. And I said, well, you know something? Even when you can't see it, God is moving. Then I said, do you know that I have prayed for you every day of your life and even before that? Do you know there's many people praying for you? Well, I sit back there in my room every single day and pray for you, just like your papa does. And right at that moment, this little look came on her face like this. Really? Just like that. Light bulb moment came on, and she said, Grammy, do you think that's maybe why Colton's been in my class every single year since I've been in school? Now, y'all, she'll be in the fifth grade next year. She started at this school in kindergarten five years old. And they have many different kindergartens, several fourth grades, several third grades. And every year he's been in her class. And it just dawned on her. And she said, do you think that's why God has put Colton in my class every single year? Here, y'all, the look of wonder on her face. <laughs> and I said, well, I would not be a bit surprised. I would not be a bit surprised. God is a mighty God. And what a mighty God we serve. Look at there how he's helping you. Well, y'all, I won't tell you. Out of the mouth of Bay. So I want you to turn to Psalm 121 because I want to remind, if you if you do not see God moving in your situation, and, and I'm right there with you, if you've got something going on, you have prayed for it, maybe even something you've prayed about for years, one of your kids, your spouse, your grandchildren, your grandmother, your neighbor, whatever. If you are wondering when or even if God is going to answer your prayers, Pray with me today, y'all, because I want to remind you by the word of God's going to remind the both of us that he is good all the time and all the time. God is good and he's with us. Let's do it. I will lift up my eyes to the hills around Jerusalem. From whence shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord 
maker of heaven and earth. That's a faith statement, y'all. So in the name of Jesus, I look up and I see. I look around me and I see. And I thank you, God, that I know you are my strength and my refuge, my fortress, my shield, and my high tower. I thank you, Lord, that you have been with me all of my days. I thank you I've not had one day of my life that you have left me. Not one day. Your faithfulness is, is everlasting and sure. And I thank you for that, Lord. And I speak that over my family. Let us all be able to acknowledge your works, oh God, in our life. He will not allow your foot to slip or to be moved. Not even slip. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that every step I've taken in my 69 and almost 70 years, you have been there for me. You've walked before me. I have walked in your footsteps. And when there have been times I have slipped, I have walked off the path. You've been right there for me, and you just bring me right back in. I praise you, maker of heaven and earth, for that. He who keeps you will not slumber. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us day and night. May our minds be aware, Lord, of all the times that you are keeping us safe. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for our, our spouses and our children and our grandchildren. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. And the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Lord, I come against fear right now, fear of the future that hovers over so many of us right now today. Let's imprint the words of Psalm 121 on our harps. You are our keeper. You are son. You are shield. You protect us from evil. And we thank you for that, Lord. Oh, I'm asking you to continue to do so um, over my, my husband and my, my children and my grandchildren and all the Walker household for all generations from here to come. May we know you, Lord, a personal relationship with you, Jesus. And may we always be thankful and aware of all that you've done for us. The Lord will keep you from all evil. Praise you, Lord. The word of God says that demons tremble at the mention of your name, Jesus. So I thank you that you have given us that power and given us the knowledge to know that so that when we see evil, we can come against it in the name of Jesus. And we will not fear. He will keep your life. He is your keeper. He will keep you going out and coming in, and from this time forth forevermore. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Wow, isn't that a wonderful thing? In the name of Jesus, I pray. Well, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. I tell you what, there's nothing like, there's nothing like spending a minute, spending just a minute with the king of the universe. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Lord, we bless you and praise you. Well, listen, y'all have a blessed day, and um, come on down to Florida. Come on down to Florida and warm up. If you, if you haven't ever been here, come on down to Florida. Warm up. This is a good time of year for you. It's too hot. Hey, y'all be blessed. Find something to smile about. Keep the joy in your heart. Proverbs 17, 22, a joyful heart does good like a medicine. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye now.